Hey folks, my name is Gabe Gossett. And I'm here on behalf of Western Libraries and presenting this Finding and Using Sources workshop. Glad to have you with us here today. And uh, as you go through this workshop, one thing that we'd like to emphasize with you is uh, feel free to pause at any point. If you have any questions, if you want to ask our staff about that, you're going to be able to connect with our research and writing studio staff that is uh, the folks that support these workshops. So we invite your questions very much. Uh, whenever you're on our uh, library's websites, you should be able to find some chat boxes where you would be able to ask those questions when they do end up coming up. Okay, so for this Finding and Using Sources workshops, we are going to be focusing on a couple of different strategy-based um, activities in order to actually help you get work done in relation to the project that you're working on, whatever that project may be. So to kind of give you an idea of where that's going, if you take a look, if you take a look at the image that you see here, it kind of gives you an idea of where we hope to go. So hopefully what you already have at this point is something that resembles an inquiry question so that it includes the topic, but it actually includes a phrased statement as well that indicates the type of thing that you're going to be uh, doing your research on. And if you don't have that, then you can kind of work on that as part of this workshop as well. But the other piece of this that we want to get into place is a series of sub-questions. Now, these sub-questions are pretty important because they become really the component parts of the, the paper or the project that you're going to be working on. They're kind of the, the subsections that you're going to end up having. Later on, those are going to become a series of sub-claims. Your inquiry questions are going to become a thesis statement. And hopefully they'll all kind of come together through these uh, things that we're calling those rhetorical moves, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. Now, as you can see, uh, there's a series of sources as well. These little circles here, the, the different circles that we got that are have their arrows connecting to the sub-questions, those little circles are the types of sources that might be speaking to particular sub-questions, like answering the questions that we have. And so what we're going to be encouraging you to do is to focus your research on these sub-questions that you are going to put together in relation to your inquiry question and then do your re research in relation to those sub-questions. And the reason why this is really helpful to do is because it kind of frees you in terms of how you can engage with uh, your inquiry question and finding some of the sources that you're looking for. Instead of trying to find that perfect source that answers the entirety of your inquiry question, what it's going to allow you to do is to find sources that just speak to the component parts of it, and then it allows for your voice to come into it a whole lot more too. So you as an author, are now going to be able to speak in conversation to those sources that you're finding, and then uh, you will be able to make some unique statements and unique claims and uh, have a more effective paper overall. 